From a location where tons of chests spawn, to a place where a lot of mythical fruits spawn very often. Here are some surprising blocks fruit facts that you might not know about. So every blocks fruit players love chests. So there is actually two different secret areas where you can find a bunch of chests which many players really don't know about. So in the first sea, there are a lot of chests inside the temple in the upper sky island. You can enter this area by using a powerful attack to open this door here. So if you collect all the chests in here, you'll get a total of about 3000 to 6000 belly. And also, did you know that in the second sea, there is a hidden area under the bridge near the cafe. It also has some chests inside it and it's also a pretty good hiding spot. You can mostly use this place to hide from bounty hunters unless they are using a haki. Now before we move on to the next one, I'll be giving our permanent fruits in the upcoming videos. So be sure to subscribe and not miss that out. And also comment down your Roblox username so that I could easily pick a winner if I'm doing any new giveaways. Now everyone knows that you can walk over water if you are using magma fruit or the ice fruit. But a lot of players actually don't know that you can go on water without taking any damage with the dog fruit and the kitsune fruit. For the dog fruit you just have to unlock the roller door ability and then you have to awaken it. And with that your donut can actually roll on water without taking any damage. Now next up with the kitsune fruit's transform ability you can run on water. But a lot of you guys don't really have the kitsune fruit so that might be the reason a lot of you don't know about this. Alright so next up there is a super cool hidden location in the first sea. So basically when you head over to the marine fortress there is a very hidden secret location inside this tower. And once you go down this tower you will be able to find this hidden NPC. This NPC sells you a black cape for 50,000 belly. But you have to be at least level 50 to buy it. I only recommend that first C players buy it because if you are already in the second or third C you probably wouldn't need it anymore and would have much better items. So next up this trick is super overpowered if you use it properly. So with this method you can actually get 8 people into a raid instead of a maximum of 4 people. Now you might be wondering how is that even possible. But there is actually a trick to getting 8 people into a raid and for this you are gonna need 4 people with the love fruit. And once you have the love fruit you have to equip the flamingo ride ability. And with this ability you can get another player to ride on your flamingo and start the raid while staying on the pad. In this way if 4 people do the same you can actually sneak in 8 people into a raid. So with this method all the raids are going to be really easy to complete because you have 8 people instead of the normal 4 people. It can also help you grind fragments and awaken your fruit much faster. Now the next shocking fact is that you can actually play chess in blocks fruit which apparently many players don't really know about. For this all you have to do is head over to the cafe and you go down this secret passage under this chest. And you will be able to find this chess area in this secret place. Now did you know the most rarest fighting style in the whole game? No, it's not the god human fighting style or the sanguinite fighting style that was recently released. It's actually the basic combat fighting style that you get when you're first joining the game. Everyone gets this combat fighting style when they're spawning into the game and it's pretty basic with only two abilities. And it is probably the worst fighting style in the whole game but the reason it's pretty rare is that once you equip any other fighting style, you can never get back this fighting style again, which means it's lost forever. Now I'm gonna be telling you guys about the Dark Blade. So it's a pretty overpowered sword and basically it's just a game pass which you can purchase for 1200 robux. But that's not the only way of getting the Dark Blade and Brock's Road. You can actually get it by trading for it, but it only works if you trade a lot of good fruits for it. The other way of getting the Dark Blade is by joining Ripindra and he can actually spawn a very difficult boss called Mihawk and if you manage to kill this boss you'll get the Dark Blade for free. But I don't think it's possible because it's very unlikely that you can find Ripindra in an average blocks fruit server. Now next up the prison island in the first sea is a pretty overpowered place to grind belly and bounty. Because it is the only place with 3 bosses at the same time. And you can take quest and grind these bosses and then server hop and repeat this process over and over again for a lot of belly in a short amount of time. Did you know that before the ghost fruit was reworked, it was called the revive fruit. It costed about 550,000 belly and this fruit could revive you after being killed by the enemy. Even though it was a unique fruit, most people didn't use it as it was having very bad attack abilities. Next up, I'll be showing you guys a very good fruit spawn location where fruit spawn very often than other places. So basically you just have to come over here in the marine fortress and a lot of fruits tend to spawn under this tree. So I recommend setting your spawn point in the marine fortress and then server hop to find very good fruits. We have this secret NPC who is hiding in the snow mountains.
Go to the side of this island. And you'll be able to find him after going through this entrance. He sells you the superhuman fighting style. But there is some requirements for it. You'll need to have at least 300 mastery on dark step, water kung fu, electric and dragon breath fighting styles. And you'll need about 3 million belly. People say it's worth it and it's the best fighting style in the second sea. But I haven't tried gambling. So, so there was a feature called the spectator mode. It was removed from the game and nowadays only admins of blocks fruit can use it. It was very overpowered and the spectator mod gives you the ability to fly your camera through the map. Players could literally fly from island to island and see if any new fruit spawns. You could access it by pressing Ctrl Shift plus P, but unfortunately you can't do it anymore as it has been removed from the game. In the first sea, there is a secret NPC hiding in one of the buildings in the middle island. This NPC allow you to change your hockey stages. So next up, in the desert island, near the pyramid, there is a hidden hall under one of the treasures. You can go through this secret passage and find another NPC. This Hansen NPC sells you a swordsman hat. But you need at least 300 stat points in your sword to buy it. This NPC sells it for 150k belly and it also buffs your sword damage by 10%. This is all very good for beginners but if you are already in the second C, you probably wouldn't need it. And finally, did you know that when the game was first released, it was known as Blocks Piece. It was later converted into Blocks Fruits a few months later. Players started making fun of the new name but due to this, Blocks Fruit skyrocketed in popularity. So next up, you can find the skeleton NPC in the left part of the volcano. He sells you the Saul Cane for 750k belly. It is a very good sword and it is used by many pros in 2nd and 3rd C. Now did you know that there is a secret NPC hiding behind this place in 2nd C where the diamond boss spawns? If you want to talk to him, you need your race to be at least V2 and you also need to defeat the swan boss. There are 6 races in total and for every race, this NPC will give you a different quest. So here are the quests for every races. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. And also the new block suit update is just about to release. So I recommend grinding a lot of money to afford all the new cool stuff that's about to come. So check out this video I made where I explain how to grind a lot of money in a short amount of time.